Now you're on to women's football now from African forward Jermaine Sipersen where Belize that Banyana didn't allow their rivalry with Nigeria to get into their heads after they defeated their arch rivals 2-1 in their opening group match of the 2022 Women's AFCON. Sipersen opened the scoring for South Africa in the 2-1 victory. She wants her team to remain grounded if they are to push on for the title in Morocco. That's great getting a win. Uh, that's what you want in your first game. Um, and I think, like we said, everyone keeps on saying this rivalry between Nigeria and South Africa. Uh, and we just didn't let it get to our heads. We stayed composed as a team. Um, we knew what we are capable of. You know, we have an amazing squad um, that can match any team in this, in this tournament. And so we just relied on each other on the field. We kept on encouraging each other on the field. Um, and I think, that, I mean, you can't say that the little monkey is off our, our backs, but at the end of the day, you can't relax. Um, now it's, it's like we beat Nigeria, the, the target's now on our backs, you know? So we're going into the next match even more hungry than what we came into the Nigeria match, even more determined um, to, 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 to get a, a great result. Um, we want to top the group, um, and so we have to win our next match. We have to win the following match. That is our mentality. Uh, we want to win every match we go into. Well, next up for coach Desiree Lasano charges will be Burundi on Thursday. And today, the second round of group matches get underway in Morocco. To speak more about the tournament and uh, South Africa's chances is a forward, Numpumelelo Nyandani, who is the owner of 149 caps for the national side. A very good evening. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. A fantastic victory for South Africa yesterday against uh, Nigeria. But we've seen this script before, haven't we? When you were part of of the team in 2018. Uh, good evening. Um, yeah, it was a great game for uh, uh, Banyana to win. So I was happy, I was celebrating because, you know, even the 2018, when we play our first game, uh, when I was there, we beat Nigeria 1-0 and then we meet Nigeria in the final. So um, this time they beat them 2-1. So. For me, I would say they must stay in the ground because they might meet uh, Nigeria in the final again. When you were watching from home last night, what do you think was key for South Africa that made the difference? Um, the team st uh, stick together. They were playing for each other. That is the most important thing uh, as a team, that we need to play for each other and we need to fight for each other. That's the most important thing, and what they did yesterday did exactly uh, uh, that thing. And if you can check the the players that they play uh, overseas, they they come to the party yesterday. They help the team. Uh, if you can see uh, Rifile Jale, Linda, Jamin, Tembi, I can uh, even Nuku. So you can see that uh, the experience that they're getting from overseas is pay off now. It certainly is, and they're going to need that in the group because, as you say, it looks as if they've got a one-way ticket all the way to the final. But you can't get overconfident, can you? Especially at this early stage of the competition. Having been in the team, knowing what it's like to play in Banyana Banyana, do you think uh, Banyana often let that kind of confidence get to their head? Uh, yeah, it's the most important uh, uh, thing that you win your first game. And, and then, but the most other the game uh, from yesterday is Tanti. Tan they, uh, they must tell themselves that they, we're going to play our first game on Thursday. Then that, that will give them uh, the hunger that they need to win that game with uh, uh, all costs. So for me, I wish Banyana, Banyana can take each game as it comes because it's mostly the very important thing. Uh, it's not like if we beat Nigeria and then we're gonna win the the, the, the cup. No, uh, if you can check in the in the Afcon, all the teams they improve. So even Manyaya need to put 150 uh, 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 percent now in this Burundi game. One of those quick uh, improving teams is, of course, Botswana, who are also in South Africa's group. So uh, the team will play against uh, Burundi, and then they'll play against Botswana. And this is a team that knocked South Africa out of qualifying for the Olympic Games. So they denied South Africa a spot at going to a third consecutive Olympic Games. How will they tackle that challenge? And who are some of the other teams that have really impressed you so far? Yeah, 
<laughs> if you can uh, see uh, Botswana, they, they improve a lot, and their, uh, their aim is to beat Banyana Banyana. So um, that's why I said Banyana Banyana need to take one game at a time. That is going to help them. And uh, this time, when they're going to play against uh, Botswana, Botswana is improved a lot. So I, I'm hoping and wishing that Banyana Banyana can uh, just humble Botswana. Because Botswana, you know, they, they take uh, Banyana Banyana out of uh, Olympic qualifier. So I wish uh, Banyana Banyana can humble uh, Botswana uh, with the like, biggest score. <laughs> Yeah, and even uh, Zambia in, improved, they drew with um, uh, Cameroon. You can see that the southern teams, they're improving, they're matching the, 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 the northern uh, countries now. And it's, it's very important for us southern this side to, to improve because it shows that our football uh, is improving. Danny, striker for JVW and also a Banyana Banyana player with 149 caps. Thanks so much for chatting to us here on Newsroom Africa.